So here goes, welcome back to Morning Traveller. Right, we're going from Mostar in Bosnia to Dubrovnik. Okay, let's get started. Um, well guys, it couldn't have gone wrong more if I tried really. How incredible is this? So I'm very excited today, I'm going to head to Dubrovnik. I've always wanted to go to this place. It's extremely popular and extremely expensive. So I decided to show you guys how you can visit Dubrovnik on a tight budget. So the plan is, I'm going to take a bus from here in Mostar, cost 22 euros, and arrive in Dubrovnik around 4pm. From there, I'm going to d drop my bag at the luggage, and we're going to spend three or four hours walking around the city, and then at 8.30pm, we're going to catch a bus back to Bosnia and stop in a place called Trebini. I'm just at the Bosnian border now. Uh, it's not going so well. We're delayed um, by about an hour so far. And the good news is we seem to be getting through the border pretty quickly. There's loads of people on the bus. It's a double decker bus, so must be like 100 people maybe on the bus, and that's not. But the lady was really quick. Interestingly, they stamp you into Bosnia, but they don't stamp you out, which is a bit strange. But anyway, so that's what they did. Do you know I might be wrong with this? We might be on the Croatian side. They might not even stamp you out of Bosnia then, because that's the Croatian flag there. I think we're on the Croatian side here. We don't. That's quite strange. So it looks like we've just literally they've just got into Croatia. So this is the big double-decker bus we're on. The, the roof's really low, it's horrible. Yeah. Well guys, it couldn't have gone wrong more if I tried really. Got to the bus station, everything was fine. Got straight off the bus, grabbed my bag. There is luggage, could drop it off, drop that off. Um, it's not expensive, it's about five an hour. So it's about 15 of their local currency, which works out maybe five, ten dollars. It's really not expensive. And it, you can pick it up till 10 p.m. That's not a problem. Got here, apparently there's no bus back to Bosnia. So there is no bus. My first quote for the taxi was 60 euros. And then I spoke to another taxi driver and he quoted me 200. And he said, that's, that's fraudulent. So yeah, it's gone completely wrong. So I am now in Dubrovnik. So I might as well have it round. Now I've got to find where the hell I'm going to go tonight because I can't stay here, it's too expensive. And I need to get out of here. So looks like we're going to have to take an overnight bus somewhere. Don't know where. Haven't got a clue. We're going to go back to the bus station and really go from there. Really. So I got the taxi driver to drop me off the cable car because I knew that's near the old town where I want to see. So it makes sense. It costs 15 euros to get down here. I'm going to see how much it is for the cable car and see if it's worth doing it. Oh, I knew the problem was going to be expensive, but bloody hell. So it's 200 krona, which is about $40. That's not worth it. I mean, I've done plenty of cable cars. You know, I was going to, I mean, I plan to spend some money, but pff, not that much. Maybe I should explain what Dubrovnik is and where I'm at. Well, this is the old town and this is where Game of Thrones was shot. Basically, this, this was, this is a really old castle. I will try and explain it later when I've got a little bit more time. Um, but I'm really excited because this is where they shot most of Game of Thrones and I'm a massive Game of Thrones fan. Look at this, this old cannon here. So this would be used to fire out any ships. See, see the pigeons enjoying it. Oh, the pigeons here are not in good condition. Got a lovely harbour here. Not the biggest boats I've ever seen. It's not a no Monaco, is it? <laughs> I'm sure there's bigger ones somewhere. Look at this. How incredible is this? You can understand why people want to come here. The problem is everybody wants to come here. I mean, if you want a postcard, there you go. So all around here, Game of Thrones would have been shot. We're going now to the spot where Cersei walked down the steps. I mean, I assume it's gonna be packed tourists, unfortunately, but we'll try our best. We hear a lot of it's been renovated recently, so still quite good though. Oh, people again, wedding, wedding, you know, wedding people, getting married. Imagine how much it costs to get married in the problem. Sorry. Oh. 
So this is a museum here. Looks like it's still open actually. So this is a church here. It's called the Dominican Mo uh, Monastery Museum. As I say, there's no time to, to do that. We're just going to walk around as much as we can, see as much as we can. So over here, again, we've got a uh, part of the outer wall, the city wall there as well. So, yeah, quite a nice light actually, quite impressive this. So I'm trying to like, enjoy it as well as film it, you know. Maybe I, maybe I should just slow down a bit, you know. But I'm trying to see as much as I can because I'm going to go up three hours. Little fishing boats. It'd be pretty cool actually if you could it looks like you can take like fishing trips. That'd be pretty cool actually, because you could catch the fish. So it's 60 euros an hour. But I'd love to go on a fishing trip where you could catch the fish and then you go back to a restaurant and cook it yourself. That'd be amazing. There is a sunset on, it's 15 euros. The problem is it leaves at 7.30. Um, yeah, it's a bit close to me. I think it's only an hour, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should do it, maybe I shouldn't. We'll see, we we'll, might come back. It's only six now, so we've still got some time. Beautiful sh uh, yacht coming in. Look at that. Looks like there's loads of good fish restaurants if you want fish, but like I say, I think we're gonna eat in town because I think they're gonna be really expensive here. Not that I think anywhere will be cheap here, but. It does look like the great thing about Dubrovnik is you don't really have to pay to enjoy it. You can just walk around it. You know, I haven't paid anything yet. There's a little nun gone in there. <laughs> it really is, look at this, it's amazing. And I understand like you could probably spend days, weeks looking at it. So here there's another nice restaurant and beautiful. Oh, there's a nice little street here, look at this. So again, this whole area by the way smells of like fish. <laughs> nice fish though. So there's a, there's a king up there with a crown on, like a gold crown, it might be plate. It's, it's very similar to like Rome, you know. That there, you probably can't see with the sun, but I'll try and block it out. That that there, you can see the people, I don't know what you can see on this camera, but there's people walking on that, that city wall. I think you have to pay for that. I think you have to pay for that particular bit. Because that's where obviously a lot of the Game of Thrones is shot. This is the city walls, which is famous for the Game of Thrones here. It's uh, 250 Corona. Um, is it Corona, I think? I think, they're like, I think their currency is Cor Kona or Corona. Um, yeah, the city walls, 250. That's about $25. So there's fountains here you can fill up with water. You can fill your water bottle. Looks like you can drink it as well. I'm not sure I'd risk it. But, uh, So this one here is traditional Croatian food. It's probably the only chance we're going to get. It's called ciabatti. Yeah. Chibati, yeah. So this is traditional. Okay, we're going to get that. So what is this ciabatti? Yeah. Sorry. Oh no. Ciabatti. Ciabatti. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So I've ordered ciabatti, which is a traditional Croatian dish, and I've ordered a beer, and I'm going to drink this isotonic till my beer gets here. I'm absolutely boiling. So. This is probably my first and last time in Croatia for a while. I don't know if I'll ever come back here, but here we go. This is traditional Croatian food. Chivap, chivapi, chivapi, chivapi. So, so we've got some fries, quite uniquely cool. Um, some like kebab meat, and there's some kind of sauce here. I don't want to know what that is, like a tomato sauce, onion lettuce. Looks delicious. So the food was delicious. Let's get out of here and go and find the Circe Shame Street. I really want to see that. Let's go. So here's the Circe steps that she stood at the top. 
and she walked down and they shouted shame 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 so we'll do that we're going to walk to the top we're going to walk down but guess what i'm not the only one who knows about this what a shitter no uh, if you want to find it it's on maps me the actual location is actually on maps me you can find it just search for it it's quite easy building here as well as part of it there's a lovely clock face up here it doesn't really keep the time anymore this is where they stood just here they stood and this is where Cersei walked down down these steps so she walked down these steps and down the piazza here they walked down like this and it was like shame shame ding ding yeah so all the way down they were shouting shame and throwing like like vegetables and stuff if you've never seen game of thrones you really should see it you see if there was a smart businessman here what you'd sell is rotten vegetables that you could throw at people i don't think it'd be very uh, popular with some people i think it would imagine how much you can make by selling rotten vegetables and throwing tomatoes at people it'd be fantastic yeah there's a, there's a business opportunity in everything I don't think anybody complain. You know, they might be wearing their best attire, maybe they're Armani, but you know, a couple of tomatoes at the head, just like Cersei got. Why not? I think I'll be brilliant. You can actually see the bell there ringing. I'm starting to think if we're going to do anything, I might as well do a boat trip. It's seven o'clock now, the boat leaves in half an hour. So why not? I might as well do a sunset trip. Um, it's 15 euros, it's not hugely expensive, so it might be worth doing it. Yeah, there's an old like pirate ship here dating back to the elizabethan times you can tell by the design of it like 15th 16th century this is the tour boat i'm getting it's one hour it's actually 20 euros not 15 but sod it may as well where i'm here So it looks like as well you can take a uh, kayak in. I don't know how much it is, but uh, if you want to come out here at sunset, you can do the kayak tour as well as if, if you don't want to do the boat. All oh, right, so there's a little cave here. Look, people come kayak in here and you can, uh, I don't know how long you can stop there for, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? See some lovely trees here, really nice. You can't really see it very well over here, but there's a beautiful like sunset view of this of the uh, ship. But watch out on the wrong side of the boat. There's a nice bit here, coming to like a bay. I think if I had enough time, I'd definitely come down here. This is Blackwater Bay here, where they shot the Game of Thrones in the, the, the famous battle of the Blackwater. So right guys, it's the next day now, I'm in Zagreb, okay. So let me just summarize quickly what happened so let's sum up well dubrovnik is an amazing place it's one of the most fascinating places on the planet i would really highly recommend it at the same time as not recommend it if you know what i mean the biggest problem you have is this year croatia has just been voted the number one destination in europe so more people are coming here year on year and it's you know this is the place they want to come dubrovnik uh, and it's just crazy the prices are just ridiculous i mean i'm sorry they're just ridiculous one taxi driver quoted me 45 dollars for a five kilometer taxi ride so what i had was basically i got the sorry i got the 10 o'clock bus to zagreb
So was Dubrovnik worth it? Well, not really. I think it wasn't really worth it. It's not a budget place. If you're a budget backpacker, just avoid it. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.